Shalom, Beraka. Bless the name of the Lord, Yeshua, Hamashiach. Abba, Yeshua. Father came. The Father came in Yeshua, which means salvation. Yahweh saves. Yahweh of love, He saves. His name is Yeshua. Okay, it means salvation. This video is going to be a uh, David's song of thanksgiving. First Chronicles chapter 16. On that day, David first delivered this psalm into the hand of Asaph. Asaph means gatherer. Okay, the gatherer. Who is the gatherer? Yeshua. Because the scriptures testify about Yeshua. All the scriptures testify about Yeshua. Let me find that for you. Yeshua said, The scriptures testify about me. John 5, 39. Let's go to uh, literal Bible. 539 Yohanan chapter 5 verse 39 The witness of scripture Yeshua says in the red letters Let's read 35 he was the lamp burning and shining, and you were willing to rejoice for a season in his light. But I have testimony. I have testimony greater than that of John, Yohanan, for the works that Ab, Father, has given me, okay, that I should complete them. The same works which I do bear witness concerning me, Yeshua, that the father Ab has sent him. Okay. He says the father sent me. And the one having sent me, Yeshua, Ab the father, Ha'ab father, himself has borne witness concerning me, Yeshua. You have neither heard his voice at any time, nor have you seen his form. And you do not have his word abiding in you. For you do not believe him whom he sent. See? Yeshua was also a prophet and Messiah. So when he came prophesying about himself, those who did not have the true word of God in him, in them, they were not believing. And you, verse 38, and you do not have his word abiding in you, for you do not believe him whom he sent. When the Father sends a prophet, okay, they're gonna be they're gonna be refused and rejected. Okay. Because the world loves darkness rather than night. You diligently search the scriptures because you think to have eternal life in them. And these are they bearing witness about me, concerning me. And you are not willing to come to me that you may have life. Okay. I do not take glory from men. But I have known you that you do not have the love of God in yourselves. I have come in my Father's name. Yahava, Yehovah, Yeshua, Hamoshiach, and you do not receive me. If another should come in the own name, you will receive him. How are you able to believe receiving glory from one another? You are receiving glory from one another. For many are the wicked, the Bible says, and you do not seek the glory that is from only God. Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one accusing you, 
Moses, Moshe, in whom you have hoped. For if you were believing Moshe, you would have believed me. For he wrote concerning me. And unless you believe his writings, how will you believe my words? Okay. In verse 40, okay, verse 40, and you are not willing to come to me that you may have life. Now, the Ark of the Covenant, what was in the Ark of the Covenant? Number 17, one of the items in the Ark of the Covenant, okay, Numbers 17, 18, let's go to New King James. Now it came to pass on the next day that Moses went into the tabernacle of the witness, or the tent of witness, okay, also representing the two witnesses, the Segol, the Levite prophets, Segol. Okay, one, three dots. One dot is Yeshua. Two dots are the prophets. Two witnesses. They are in a tent, in a spiritual tent with Yeshua. Just like the tabernacle of witness. Purposely called the tent of witness. And behold, the rod of Aharon, Aaron, of the house of Levi, Levi, had sprouted. The stick, the stick of Aaron, had sprouted and put forth buds and had produced blossoms and yielded ripe great, uh, ripe almonds. Had produced blossoms and yielded ripe almonds. Aaron's stick. Okay. That's number 17, verse 8. The Lord spoke to Moses in verse 1, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and get from them a rod from each father's house, all their leaders according to their father's houses, twelve rods from each tribe, a rod, a stick. Write each man's name on his rod, and you shall write Aaron's name on the rod of Levi. Okay, Levite tribe. For there shall be one rod for the house of each father's house. Then you shall place them in the tabernacle of meeting, the tent of witness, before the testimony, where I meet with you, and it shall be that the rod of the man whom I choose will blossom. Okay. Because... In Numbers 16, in the previous verse, there was the rebellion at Korah. And God killed over 200 leaders of the Israelites. He killed over 200 leaders who rebelled against Moses and Aaron, prophet and priest. He consumed them in the earth. The earth swallowed them and their whole tents, their homes. And the rest he burned up and consumed by fire from heaven. Okay, so this is why the Lord spoke to Moses and told him to take a rod from each of the tribe leaders. Okay, put it in the, place them in the tabernacle meeting in verse 4, before the testimony where I meet with you. And it shall be that the rod of the man whom I choose will blossom. Thus I will rid myself of the complaints. I will rid myself of the complaints of the children of Israel which they make against you. Okay. So Moses spoke to the children of Israel, and each of their leaders gave him a rod apiece for each leader, according to their father's houses, twelve rods, and the rod of Aaron was all the rod of Aaron was among their rods. And Moses placed the rods before the Lord in the tabernacle of witness. Okay. Tabernacle of witness, the tents of witnesses. Okay. And now it came to pass on the next day that Moses went into the tabernacle of witness 
And behold, the rod of Aaron and of the house of Levi, Levi had sprouted and put forth buds and had produced blossoms and had produced and yielded ripe almonds. A stick. A stick cut off from a tree, producing, having life. Life in the wooden stick. Okay. So this is why the Ark of the Covenant, that's one of the items. And the Ark of the Covenant and the stick represents life from the stick. Life from the cross. Life comes from the wood and stick of Yeshua. Okay. Life came from the comes from the from Yeshua, the Messiah, because he died on a stick. And life comes because of his crucifixion death. Life comes in Yeshua only. Eternal life. And so here's a song of thanksgiving of King David. First Chronicles chapter 16. Verse 7, On that day David first delivered this psalm into the hand of Asaph, the gatherer. Yeshua will gather his people and his brethren to thank the Lord Yehovah Yehovah. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the peoples, sing to him. Sing song, sing psalms to him. Talk of all his wondrous works. Glory in his holy name, Yeshua, Yahava. Let the hearts of those rejoice who seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Not our strength. Not the strength and power of the world or money or many. Evil. Wicked armies, earthly powers. Seek the Lord in His strength. Seek His face evermore. Seek His face evermore. Remember His marvelous works which He has done, His wonders and the judgments of His mouth. And what's going to come from His mouth when He comes? A sword. Judgment. His wonders and the judgments of His mouth. O seed of Yisrael, his servant, you children of Jacob, Yaakov, his chosen ones. He is the Lord our God, his judgments are in all the earth. Remember his covenant. Remember his covenant, the cross, the wood and stick that produces life, that blossomed. A dead stick, but yet it blossomed life. The eternal covenant, 2 Corinthians chapter 3. The new covenant is an eternal covenant in Yeshua. Remember his covenant forever. The word which he commanded for a thousand generations. The word which he commanded for a thousand generations. The covenant which he made with Abraham and his oath to Isaac and confined it to Jacob for a statute, to Yisrael for an everlasting covenant, <clears throat> saying, To you I will give the land of Canaan as the allotment of your inheritance. When you were few in number, indeed, very few, and strangers in it, when they went from one nation to another and from one kingdom to another people, he permitted no one to do them wrong. Yes, he rebuked kings for their sakes. Yes, he rebuked even kings for their sakes. The Lord did. Verse 22, saying, saying this, do not touch my anointed ones, do, and do my prophets no harm. He said, Do not touch my anointed ones, and do my prophets no harm. 
Sing to the Lord all the earth. Proclaim the good news of his salvation, Yeshua. Bashar. Good news, Yeshua. His salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his wonders among all peoples. Declare his glory among the nations, his wonders among all the peoples. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is also to be feared above, above all gods. For all the gods of the peoples are idols. All the gods of the peoples are idols. Elil, the Hebrew word for idol is Elil. The word idol, Elil, he, it means in Hebrew, useless, worthless, insufficient, good for nothing. It cannot walk, it cannot talk, it does nothing. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is also to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the peoples are false, useless idols. They do nothing. But the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before Him. Strength and gladness are in His place. Give to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Give to the Lord glory and strength. Give to the Lord the glory due to His name, Yeshua. Bring an offering, sin, thanksgiving. Bring an offering, bring your sin, bring your thanksgiving after He forgives your sin. And come before Him, O oh, worship the Lord in beauty of holiness. Trim him, all the earth. The world also is firmly established. It shall not be moved. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. And let them say among the nations, The Lord reigns. Yeshua, Yahweh, He reigns. Let the sea roar in all its fullness. Let the field rejoice in all that is in it. Then the trees of the woods shall rejoice before the Lord, for He is coming to judge the earth. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. And say, save us, O oh God, of our salvation. Save us, O oh God, of our Yeshua. Yeshua Tenu. Gather us together and deliver us from the Gentiles. Save us, O oh God, God of our Yeshua. Gather us together, Asaf, and deliver us from the heathens, the Gentiles, the unbelievers, the rebels to give thanks to your holy name, to triumph in your praise. Blessed be the Lord God of Yisrael, from everlasting to everlasting. And all the people said, Amen, Amen, and praised the Lord. Okay. I'm going to read this in the Hebrew. Also, we'll get a chance to check out a few words in their fullness whoops let's see we started in um, let me go back for a second verse 7 First Chronicles 16, verse 7. Bayom, Hahu, Az, Natan, Dawid, Barosh, Lehodot, 
le yahava yahova beyar asaf we eha. Verse 8. Yahava yahova kiru bishmo. Hodiu ba amam ba amim alilota. First Chronicles sixteen verse nine. Shiru lo zameru lo shihu bekal nifleota. Verse ten. Hit halu, glory, beshem, in his name. Kadesho, his holy name. Kadesho, beshem, his holy name. Hit halu, beshem, kadesho, yishma, leb, mebakse, yahava, yahova. Dir shu Yahava Yahova we uso bakesu pana tamid. Zikru ni fleota asher asa mopeta umis pete pihu. Sera Yisrael. Abdo Bene Yaakob Behira Hu Yahava Yehova Elohenu Bekal Haaretz Mishpata Zikru Zikru Le Olam Berito Dabar Siwa Leelep Do Dor Dor Asher Karat et Avraham Ushe Buato Le Yishak Yeyitzhak Waya ami deha le Yaakov lehob lehok le Yisrael berit olam. Le mor le ka eten eret kenan hebel hebel nachalat kem. Bihot biotkem mete mispar mitpar mispar kimat wegarim ba wayit haleku migo el go umimam laka el am acher. Lo hinia leish le ashekam we we yoka alehem melakim al tigeu bim bim shihe ubin by ubin bi Al tare tareu Shiru Yahava Yahova Kal Haaretz Baasheru Miyom El Yom Yeshua To His Salvation Yeshua To
Yeshua Tainu would be our salvation. Saperu Bagoyim et Kebodo Bekal Haamim Ni Pleota. Ki gado Yahava Yehova Umehulal Meod Wenora Hu Al Kal Elohim Ki Ko Elohe Ha Amim Elilim Yahava Yehova Shamayim Asha Hod Wehadar Lepana Os Wehedwa Bim Komo Habu Yahava Yehova Mish Pehot Amim Habu Yahava Yehova Kabor Wa Os Habu Yahava Yehovah Kabor Shemo Sheu Min Mincha Ubou Lepana Hish Tahawu Yahava Yehovah Beharat Kodesh Hilu Milepana Ka Kal Haaretz Ap Tikon Tebel Bal Timot Yishmehu Hashamayim Wetagel Haaretz Weyomeru Bagoyim Yahava Yehova Malak Yiram Hayam Umelowo Ya Alosh Ya Ya Alots Hasade Wekal Asher Bo As Yeranenu Ase Hayar Melipne Yahava Yahova Kiba Lispot et Haaret Hodu Yahava Yehova Ki Tob Ki Le Olam Hasdo Hasdo We Imru Hovo Sheinu Elohi Yi Sheinu We Kabe Sheinu We Hasilenu Min Hagoyim Lehodot Leshem Kadesheka Lehish Tabea Bit Hilalet Bit Hilateka Baruch Yahava Yehova Elohe Yisrael Min Haolam we ad ha olam. We yomeru kal ha am amen. We halel yahava yahova. Amen. So we read first Chronicles verses chapter 16 verses 7 through 36. Bless you, great God. Bless your holy name. Yeshua, Yahava, salvation of Yahweh of love. Moshiach, anointed savior. Blessed are you, O Lord. 
Bless your holy name. For you gave life from a wooden stick. You brought life to your people from a wooden cross. By giving yourself. Giving your body and giving your blood for us. That we may eat of it and drink of it. And have everlasting life. We believe in you and we wait for you. Our great deliverer. Our great salvation. Yeshua Tenu Gadol. Teshua Gadola. Direct our hearts to you, O God. Prepare our hearts and minds and our eyes and ears to receive your words, O Lord. We receive your words into our heart. Let them sink deep into our own heart, O God. Change our hearts. Change our hearts and our minds. Renew and renew a right spirit within us and create in us a clean heart. We receive your word with gladness. Holy Spirit, fill us with the word of Yeshua, Yahava, Ruach HaKodesh. Breathe eternal life into us and to all those around us. By your Holy Spirit wind, your breath, O God, your breath of life, we prophesy life into every lost sheep in all the lands of the earth. In the name of Yeshua, HaMashiach, Amen. Shalom, Beraka, Shabbat Shalom. Yeshua HaMashiach, Yehovah, Yehovah, Merkabah, Aish.